I'm just a genuine person. Like, I really am. Like, I'm so down to earth. Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey girl, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In this video, we're gonna be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup while I'm covering topics. And I'll just be giving y'all my opinions on these topics. Make sure if you're following along with this video, be sure to comment down below your opinions on it, girl. Because I know y'all got some feelings about what I'm going to say. I have my mirror here. I have my candle going. Girl, it's a whole vibe. Get you something to drink. Lay down. Relax. Sit down. Stand, girl, do whatever you gotta do. This is not a makeup tutorial in any way, shape, or form. Probably will not be labeling any of the products in this video. I don't really wear that much makeup, as y'all seen in my other vlogs, my other videos. I literally just probably do lashes, lip gloss, eyebrow. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be putting some makeup on and getting ready. So let's go ahead and get into this video because I'm ready to get into these topics. Anyway. So the first topic we're going to cover is toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. So we're going to talk about first. My face has been so dry because I've been trying to focus on my skincare routine. So while that dries, we're going to be talking about red peel versus blue peel. So basically, ladies, if you do not know what the red peel community versus the blue peel Hill community on YouTube is or just like in the manosphere world basically the red pill is like the men who aren't basically simps they treat they they treat themselves as kings you know but they look down on like other men who are on the blue pill so on the blue pill it's men who are like simps for women they chase women um they feel like women are the prize Red pill feel like women aren't the prize. They feel like the, the red pill community feels like the man is the prize. Both of these communities are created by men. So on the red pill community, you will see somebody like Andrew Tate. The blue pill community would be like an average man who works a nine to five job or he owns his business, but he takes care of his woman. He or, or he chases women like he chases women to go out. Give, he gets their numbers. You know, he doesn't wait for them to come to him like he always goes to women. He might sacrifice parts of his life for another woman. He might, you know, things of that sort. I think y'all get the point. So my face is currently done drying and it's looking very glowy. I don't know about y'all, but I do not like highlighter anymore. It looks so like childish me. I don't like to do highlighter anymore. So what I do is I prep my face with um, some type of like hydrating mist to bring the glow or I'll use, use like a glowy foundation Y'all know like how as women we have like our feminist group like that's kind of like what it is for them so Basically they tear down they bring down so many women like they tear down like our our character our purpose in life and for example, what do you bring to the table? When, obviously, when you are in America, and like, they ask these questions, what do you bring to the table? But they're talking about a regular relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend. Obviously, if you're in that relationship and boyfriend and girlfriend, you shouldn't bring as much to the table as you should when you're in a marriage. When you're in a marriage, it's different because you're in like a business contract, you're in a bind, and then that's when I feel like you should bring something to the table. Bringing something to the table can mean other things besides like um finances or things of that sort it could actually mean like it when you're in a marriage you're supposed to make the relationship whole you're supposed to make the other person whole it shouldn't be about okay what can you do for me what can i do what can you do that benefits me like what benefits me or like you know um it shouldn't be about it shouldn't be about like what I can get from you. It should be about what are the pieces that you have that I need that can connect to me that can make me whole. Like I basically you have what the other person 
doesn't have and so that's what it comes down to like I feel like in a relationship and I feel like nowadays because people aren't getting married as much statistics have proven that they're basically treating boyfriend and girlfriend as like a marriage and it's not if I ever get in a relationship as boyfriend and girlfriend I will not be doing wifey thing what we're doing in this generation we're playing house we're having kids boyfriend and girlfriends and it's a different people think oh i don't want to get married because you know the divorce and this and this and that you have to pay but the thing is when you become a husband and a wife like no you can't just leave, get up and leave because you made an agreement and so that's what i feel like people aren't making the promise to themselves they're not keeping their word and that's what ma marriage is they keep people have to keep their word and that's why i love like that's why i think marriage can be for everyone but it's not for everyone but when it comes to men talking about women like what do they bring to the table it's just like what do you mean like this is a regular a regular basic relationship like this is not nothing like like what do you think what do you think this is like the red pill community they basically like put people down like i'm here you're here but yeah i just love setting my face because if that means it's gonna be a good beat we created these men and they have the nerve to talk about humble yourself disposable like i can get another one of you i can get another one of you i can get another one of you and it's just like first of all we're human you know like slow your roll so that's my feelings about the red pill community i agree with some things they say about how like how women should value their health you know women should be feminine i agree what else do i agree with because i don't agree with much I agree with them talking about how women need to start being more like independent like get their own bag instead of like mooching off men just i only agree with literally only certain stuff like you're not everything i promise y'all so basically the blue pill community gets crapped on for like pleasing a woman so like basically let's just say a 25 year old and his girlfriend are living together and he pays literally all the bills but all she does is lay in the bed right is that his fault or is that her is that his fault or is that or is that her fault so first of all it's his fault because it's his fault he chose to be with somebody who doesn't match his uh, who doesn't match his lifestyle. He let's say let's just say like he likes to take care of his girl like he want he doesn't want her to work. Let's just say that he would be considered blue pill because he's a beta and basically betas are simp's basically. And they allow the woman to control the relationship. See, when it comes to like red pill, blue pill, it just like makes my head hurt because it's just like, who cares? Like we get one freaking life, you know, like I just... I don't be caring that the the red pill of the blue community is just toxic to me because it's just it's just is it's just so toxic the next topic girls we're gonna be getting into is femininity and I wanted to talk about this because it's just like I'm talking about femininity for black people black girls like feel like what does femininity, femininity look like in black girls we've seen femininity with other races but it's just like feminine femininity or just taking care of ourselves as black women it's like all of a sudden like that became like a trend like people was like i want a feminine woman right and then Black men will use the excuse when they go out and date interracially like, oh, she's feminine, oh, she's this, or because, you know, we, some black women, some of us, grew up in the same environments as these rowdy hood black men or, or, 
we grew up in the same environment as these black men. Um, an environment where we had to use more of our masculinity side to, to protect ourselves, to, to make sure that we're still alive today. And so it's the fact that that they, the same black men that talk about, oh, they're too masculine, was in the same neighborhood as their brother, their sister, their mama, their cousin, and seeing what they had to go through and know that they had to use their masculine energy more than their feminine energy because to in order to balance out the situation like when black men grow up in these homes with single mothers it's like duh like obviously they're going to be using their masculine side more than their feminine because they have to guard and protect the house they have to go out and act like men to go pay bills and work all these shifts and things like that because the men want to act feminine and at this point i just feel like men just want to be women like just go ahead just go ahead like at this point because I'm not going to worship the ground you stand on. Like, I can create a whole child and you can literally just sit there and and literally not create anything. Like, sure, y'all can create, y'all can go use your sperm or whatever, but you can't bring a child in this world. Don't ever forget that. Um, and so basically, they, like, aren't, they would say they're, like, unattractive because they aren't acting, like, in their nature and you know basically that's what they would say they would say we aren't acting in their nature even though sometimes men act like women in their nature you know what I'm saying so anyways yeah so yeah so I just want to say like black women in luxury has been like such a trend and I feel like the trend is like becoming normal like it's becoming like obviously like the status quo and I'm so proud of black women for making that like the status quo like we've been had nice houses we've been had nice cars we've been had the old money we've been had like we've we've been in good environments we've been in these situations it's just that either our relationships get us here or we've been manipulated and that might have caused a black woman to be obviously not in her feminine aura and like not indulging in self-care and i just love that us like i just love that black women are winning like i love that for us as much as we get it on i love that for us subcategory we're going to talk about is what um td jakes said about black women and i'll roll the clip because we are raising up women to be men. And you are not applauded for your femininity. You are applauded in the contemporary society by how tough, rough, nasty, mean, aggressive, hateful, possessive you are and you are climbing the corporate ladder, but we are losing our families. Honestly, at this day and age, it's like, who acting like a man? Because men acting like an ass. Anyways, so he said that it's the basically, he said it's like the black woman's fault black like girls like we have been in our masculinity we we put our wall up so much like we are like we try to be like the most strongest person and the superheroes and we just need to realize we we don't have to wear the cape every time like i'm learning myself i don't have to save people from themselves all the time i can just let them let them fail not fail but just let them learn for themselves like i need to stop like i need to stop trying to wear the like like um i need to stop trying to be the help for like everybody and just like help myself if anything so i don't have to be your superhero i don't i don't have to be i'm my own superhero point blank period I'm, a, I'm my own superhero come to my own rescue and that's the only rescue i need to worry about growing up as a black girl like i was never taught about femininity and now that it's become like a big thing like everybody's like you know make sure you take care of yourself put your self-care first like it really shows when you show up for yourself 
I'm so glad like I learned about this now at like 20 years old because I can go out there and I can become the woman of my dreams I don't have to act tough I don't have to act hard like that's why I love this like this this new wave for black women if you're cheating I'm out you do one thing I'm like I I'm out. I'm not your ride or die. I'm not staying here with you through thick or thin. Like, you're not going to stress me out. And I just love that black women are thinking the way they are. And I've always been the type of girl in general to put my logic before my emotions, which is why I don't have a lot of people around. You probably will not see me with a lot of people around. And the reason why I'm not in a relationship because I just know what that does. Why would we operate in a masculine energy if we didn't have to? And I don't know why people think feminine is like, feminine people People think like being feminine as like a woman means like to be like submissive or whatever. But there's a difference between being submissive and I'm gonna, and, and I feel like that's a whole nother video, but if people don't know that submissive is literally only for marriage. <laughs> only for marriage, girl. Submissive compatible and unison I feel like people feel like if you can't get along with them you're not being submissive if you're in a relationship and you talk back to the guy you're not being submissive you're being a headache like y'all need to really find yourself y'all get in these relationships and y'all don't even know you so the next topic we're gonna go into is YouTube and why I got started, how I got started, just like a few things. I love the camera. I love how you can be the editor and director of your life. I love it. If I could make this like my side job while I'm in school, that would be like my goal. But I started this because I've always had a passion for just the filming process, like just editing directing and like just sharing my videos online like i started my youtube when i was i think 11 years old youtube has hasn't always loved black women i'm gonna be honest like or just black people in general like i'm gonna be honest until that until george floyd happened that's honestly really when YouTube started to diversify its like creators and like say for instance like I would be watching a black girl channel and then all the recommendations would be white I'm like where's the other black girls or where's her content at it would not show it like but it's just the fact that okay now okay let me turn it up a, a notch because they're actually giving black people some air time some like you know recommendations they're actually paying us like it's actually happening for black women on this platform now I'm gonna start a channel start it now like now would be the best time to start it because there are so many like lanes you could do there's like so much like it's a lot of um black content creators that's making it out here and I just feel like now is just the perfect time I don't know how to express it but if you have the opportunity to get paid while you're in bed, if you have the opportunity to use your gift and get paid at the same time, why not? You don't start it now. Think about every day somebody is starting a YouTube channel, every day that you're not posting, every day that you're thinking you're scared to record. You have to just start. You have to just do it. This book right here, do it afraid it literally has helped me with giving me so much clarity about this world and just like about life oh but yeah so if you are starting a youtube channel i just feel like girl start it post the video even if it's cringy just keep doing better just keep doing better just keep doing better like that's all you have to do just keep doing better keep doing better and you're gonna come back one day and you're like, dang, I'm so glad I posted that first video because now look where I'm at now. Look where I'm at now. 
So I'm pretty much complete with this makeup look. Um, I just need to apply some lashes and some lip gloss. Some, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. These little strip lashes are about to fly away. I feel like I'm about to fly away. They're so huge. But anyways, girls, that's gonna be the end of the video. We talked about we talked about three topics and then got into you know the conversation. This video is just bringing awareness to those conversations and those topics. And be sure to comment down below your opinions and your ideas and your thoughts about the topics in this video. If you did like this video, be sure to give this video a like. And girl, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Hey girl. I will see y'all in the next video, girls. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see y'all in another one. Love you, girls. Bye.